G'day folks, well for today's equipment autopsy we have a large Mitsubishi VFD. This one's rated from 11 to 22 kilowatts, um, three phase only. I have got it hooked up to the control panel so I can put some voltage into it but judging by the damage on the board it's not going to last very long. There's a rather nasty little burn hole in the PCB there and that little resistor is a 0.75 ohm resistor, fairly high wattage, has been blown to pieces, there's a piece actually missing out of it. So something horrible's happened to that, but without further ado, we will plug it in and see what happens. Alright, let's see what happens. Nothing much. Indicator lamps on. I'm guessing it's waiting for a signal or something. LED readout hasn't lit up. None of that's lit up. Yeah. He went pop in a fairly big way. Cat bank's holding charge though. That's switched off and LED's staying on. So and these big chunky capacitors are charged. That's for sure. So we be careful and carefully take it apart. Make sure the capacitors are discharged first. Uh, not too sure what model this drive is. Not the board part number, but I think the 700 series or something. Good fair control board on it, it's got Firewire, you know, Ethernet, can't remember what that is but I think a lot of printers and things have it on it. That looks like the connector from my old video camera. There's a three pin connector there and a two pin connector there so God knows what they can do with this drive. I've, it's probably quite more advanced than anything else I've been playing with. I'm still holding charge. Um, yeah. It's just one heavy duty 22 kilowatt Mitsubishi VFD. Metal can there with something in it. Probably a brake resistor or something. Looks like it's attached to the heatsink, so I'm guessing it's a brake resistor. Yeah. Oh, I'll get the screwdriver out and pull these control boards off after discharging the cat bank. Assuming I can get to it. Oh, yeah get to the tops of the caps and short them out and then uh, we'll go from there pull this thing to pieces I don't have the front panel or anything for it so that's why I can't tell you what model it is that's all missing and since the control board's burned out this one's as good as dead so it's a equipment autopsy okay well the main board's out you can see where the uh, burnout has occurred it's blown those traces apart on both sides and blown that resistor apart, so that one's toast. The rest of the drive, not sure. That looks like. Okay, it's coming off the mains input. That's the three phase rectifier pack, it's all in one. It has. might be a um, big SCR pack. It looks like it's got a gate on it. Yeah, it does. There's a gate. There's. AC 1, 2 and 3, DC in two phases and there's a gate and there's also a base is it? No, R4, it's R4, oh resistor, okay, resistor across one, or oh, DC, it's silicon together, I'll pull it out and find out, it's a big SCR pack by the looks of it. That one there, I'm not too sure. It's got three phase wires coming out and going to there. Is that part of it too? I don't know. I better strip this thing down because there's still three IGBT bricks in there, which is normal. But these other packs, I'm not too sure. I'm thinking there are uh, one's a rectifier and the other one, I don't know what that little one is. But we'll pull it to bits and find out. There's also some big polyfilm caps in there too. They're all glued in but... 
Let's see. 34K1, 250. Hmm. Interesting. They're fairly heavily built. Mitsubishi build and pretty solid. Okay, well that took a bit of effort. All that's moulded together into one mass. Got copper bus bars right through it. Don't know if I'd get away with that as PVC cable scrap, but we can always throw it in the incinerator and burn all the crap off it. I don't know what kind of plastic that is, probably PBT. But uh, yeah, it's one solid piece. Um, the little bricky thing that was down there, that's PRHMB. 50B12A. Yeah, something like that. Interesting little thing. Um, control board came off easy enough. God knows why you need Ethernet and, in and uh, Firewire interface on something like this. That's from capacitor bank. Two capacitors which I've already discharged. Just be sure. Yep. Nice and safe. We'll disconnect those wires. There's some IGBTs or thyristors, whatever they are down there. Yeah, that's definitely the three phase rectifier in there. That's a PGH 2016AM. So PGH 20016AM. I'll uh, Google, that, Google that one when I get the time. As for this thing here, there's no number of visible at the moment, so I've got to get that off. Now I'll have to look these up on, on the internet because uh, they don't actually say what capacity they are. But that's the part number though. They've got to be expensive. <laughs> got the bleed resistors and bridge plates and things all there too. I'll keep stuff like that. That's what connects to the IGBT bricks. Got capacitors and things in there. They're a 0.45k, 1200 volts. It's heavy as hell. There's a lot of copper in that. This drive isn't even that old. And the IGBTs, or whatever they are, are 150 amp, 1200 volts. 2MB1150 U4B-120-50. Made by FE Japan. So I'll uh, have to strip him down and yeah, look up some more info on these things. Well, that's the type of power brick that's in it. I'm going to leave them attached to the heat sink and just store it as it is. It's definitely a three phase rectifier. Big capacitors and bleed resistors. And I'll uh, make sure to keep all the screws and attachment leads and things. Might be able to use this, this as a pre-charge and discharge unit for the big capacitor bank that I have. I'll just look up the trigger voltage or the trigger rating of these. Uh, it says 150 amps, but I want to trigger a lot more than that, so I might be able to use these lower voltage units to trigger the bigger ones. Who knows? I don't have all that much experience with big high voltage stuff, but it's always good fun to learn. The rest of this thing is just a big heat sink. So that's the end of that autopsy. Oh yeah, that thing there, yeah 29k 80 watt resistor, it's like a braking resistor. And it's got two, well, one little wire coming out of it, maybe a thermistor to ground, not too sure. <laughs> 